the man that stands before me is well dressed in a dark chocolate colored suit with a fedora to match you can see his tan and gold pinstripe vest just underneath as he unbuttons and opens his blazer he reaches into his breast pocket and pulls out a small silver case it's engraved I can't tell what it says but I can tell the cost almost in one smooth and swift motion the case was opened a cigar removed and the case slid back into his breast pocket even this man's cigar had class it wasn't any store-bought trash this guy's cigar was hand rolled with care to perfection. Before I knew it, the cigar was in his mouth and he already had a lighter in hand. The lighter was silver and had engravings that looked like they matched the cigar case. He pulled the lighter away to store it in his pocket, I guess. I didn't see. I couldn't help but fixate on the smoke of his cigar. Even the smoke from this guy's cigar was special, almost unearthly. I just stared at him. The smoke seemed to dance. It swayed with a rhythm. It reminded me of that classy joint between Lexington and Maine. Still, there was something more to it. I got lost in the moment, staring into the smoke. Before I could gain my senses, I saw it. I saw it through the smoke. Behind the smoke. But behind the veil of smoke, he was no man. His, the teeth in his grin, it, jagged, his eyes all white, with a cold, dead stare. As my pulse raced, and the first beads of sweat started forming above my brow, he pulled away his cigar. The world seemed to move slow now. Years passed before the rapid beats of my heart. I remember when I was a kid first time I ever saw a caddy. As a teen, I remember that first bank heist. Last week when I, when I, oh no. His lips got to moving. And in a deep smoking voice, he spoke. I appreciate you waiting. Now, i kill you. Man, do I hope you enjoyed that butchered reading of the little story I wrote for Monster Head. Uh, that intro story is sort of in my character's future after he's become a little bit more of an established mafia-type hitman slash anti-hero slash vigilante. The concept behind Monster Head is sort of you know old school mafia hitman but he has powers that comes from smoke and the smoke reveals the the dark nature he has inside his all his powers revolve around smoke um i'll grab my character sheet here and start reading it uh, the character's name is monster head uh he's a mutants and masterminds third edition character uh, strength 3, Agility 4, Fighting 4, Awareness 4, Stamina 2, Dexterity 3, Intelligence 5, Presence 6. I'm trying to make him more or less, you know, he's a hitman, but he's not terribly physical. Like, he, he doesn't have a great deal, deal of physicality to him. Um, his defenses are Dodge 10. Fortitude 8, parry 10, toughness 2, will 4. Kind of representing the fact that he is more... He's more the type of guy to uh, avoid danger and deflect danger rather than face it head on because he's not, you know, the Incredible Hulk or Iron Man or Colossus or anything. Um, That's his, uh, his basic stats. I haven't... I have yet to play a game of third edition Mutants and Masterminds, so my understanding of the powers and stats isn't as as good as it probably should be, and I probably made a really bad character. Um, I'm used to playing second edition Mutants and Masterminds, so hopefully I, I, did, I did some justice to it. 
His powers are a series of alternate powers, so you can only use one of them at any given point in time. Um, alternate effect two power points I took four times for four different iterations of a power. Uh, I only have four powers, so I don't know if I should have four or five powers, I'm not sure. Um, the key power is affliction. Basically, he breathes smoke on you, and then the smoke causes an affliction with which will ultimately make you a puppet of his. He could go insubstantial as a reaction. I'm thinking, you know, when he gets an attack, maybe uh, the GM will allow me to drop into a gaseous form. You know, like representing the smoke of the cigar and, and everything. Uh, he has regeneration 10. It's persistent. Flaws, smoke, uh, blah, blah, blah. Requires an activate, requires a standard activation. Basically, him lighting one of his cigars and smoking it. And as long as he's smoking, he can regenerate um, damage. He has the damage power. Uh, it has a ranged area of effect. His uh, attacks with the damage power are incurable, and he has two ranks of multi-attack for either a single target or multiple targets. <clears throat> it affects insubstantial and has a penetrating rating of 3. Basically, as he's breathing smoke from his cigar, the smoke will animate and form blades to tear up tear up and tear at either one opponent or multiple opponents. The reason it, it, it affects insubstantial is because the weapon is actually insubstantial. It's it's gaseous, so that's that's the reasoning behind that. The penetrating part I'm thinking like as it cuts into um, people, you'd see the wounds rather than bleeding. You know, rather than just bleeding, you'd see actual smoke rise up out of their wounds. Uh, skills. Hmm. I, I think I put too many power points in some of these skills, but you know, who knows. I have 10 ranks in acrobatics, 15 ranks in athletics, 10 ranks in close combat. 10 ranks in Deception, 20 ranks in Insight, 20 in Investigation, 20 in Perception, because you always got to see uh, what's around that corner, right? Uh, 10 ranks in Persuasion, 20 ranks in Ranged Combat, 15 ranks in Stealth. He is a power level 10 character, a total of 150 power points used, whether he's well built as a character or not I have absolutely no clue but I do hope to enjoy playing this character and if this is uh, if the game is going to be televised I hope you guys watch uh, me try to play this character so uh, until then check you guys later I'm Nelson this has been infinite roleplay peace